Let me be clear. This committee will hear Mr. McGahn's testimony, even if we have to go to court to secure it. We will not allow the president to prevent the American people from hearing from this witness. We will not allow the president to block congressional subpoenas, putting himself and his allies above the law. House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler there yesterday on former White House counsel Don McGahn's refusal to comply with a subpoena. And right now, Speaker Pelosi is meeting behind closed doors with Democrats as the impeachment push continues on Capitol Hill. Joining us now, Congressman Jim Jordan, ranking member of the House Oversight Committee. Good morning to you, Congressman. So what can you tell us about your Democratic colleagues in the House and their willingness to proceed with impeachment proceedings? Sandra, I think they've already started. They just won't formally declare it. There are secret memorandums of understanding, secret MOUs between the various chairmen on how they will coordinate their attack on the president. I mean, they're basically contracts. You're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to share certain information. A coordinated effort to take down the president. Um, so I think they've already started. They just won't formally declare it. I think at some point they will probably do it. The American people know it's not justified. The American people know it's not going to succeed. But I don't think the Democrats can help themselves. Remember, after all, in the very first day of Congress, they introduced articles of impeachment. Uh, Congressman Blumenauer did. So I think they've been determined to get here. I think they've already started. They just haven't formally uh, stated that they're, that's what they're up to. You echo a sentiment from the president this morning in this tweet saying Democrats are on a fishing expedition. Doug Collins in that hearing room yesterday saying that Democrats are trying desperately to make something out of nothing. Is there anything that Republicans could do here to appease Democrats and their ongoing requests for more witnesses, more hearings, more subpoena requests, and more documents pertaining to the Russia probe. Is there anything Republicans could no, do? No, because they're ridiculous. You got the, the Ways and Means chairman saying, I need a private citizen's tax returns. I'm demanding that I see the president's tax returns. You got the uh, Oversight Committee chairman saying, I want eight years of the president's business records. You got uh, Maxine Waters in the Financial Services saying, I want 10 years of his banking records. This, before he was even a candidate. So th this is this is the Democrats. So much focus on taking down the president, not any type of focus on doing what's best for the country. I think this is where they're going to go. So I don't know what we could do to satisfy that. They're bound to determine to do things that we've never seen before. Meanwhile, Congressman, you mentioned the, the, the president's tax returns happening just a few moments ago in a hearing room for House Financial Services. Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, was asked about the president's tax returns, and he had this response. This is the headline. I've had no conversations ever with the president or anyone in the White House about delivering the president's tax returns to Congress. Do you know what he's hiding? I mean, he doesn't uh, want anybody to see him, certainly not, not Congress. I don't think he's hiding anything, but OK, no. so you don't know. Correct. That what I don't saying? know anything about his tax returns. All right, so. Does that response surprise you at all? Well, no, because I don't think the president is hiding anything, and I don't think a private American citizen should, or American, any American citizen should have to turn over their tax returns because the government wants it. I would, I would just encourage your viewers to go read a letter that Emmett Flood, I talked about this a few weeks ago, that Emmett Flood sent to the attorney general. And in his letter, he says this, if the government can, if unelected people in the government can do this, talking more about the Mueller report and people in the intelligence community, if they can do this to a president of the United States, Imagine what they can do to any one of us. That is a, that is a fundamental, and that is why the real investigation that I'm focused on is the one Bill Barr's doing with, with John Durham. Remember what Bill Barr said just a few weeks ago, Sandra. He said, he said there was a failure of leadership at the upper echelon of the FBI. He said spying took place. He said, third, there's a basis for his concern about that spying. And then he used two terms that should scare every American. He talked about unauthorized surveillance and potentially political surveillance that took place when they started the, the top people at the FBI started this this Trump Russia investigation and Bill Barr is bound and determined to get to the bottom of this and find out exactly what happened. That's the investigation I think matters the most. Really makes you wonder what that conversation in the White House is going to be like uh, just a short time from now. In the 11 o'clock hour, the president will be sitting down. Cameras are expected to be off at this point with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, Congressman. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean who knows? Uh, what I do know, and that to this investigation that Bill Barr is doing, Sandra, what I think is interesting is how all these folks who were involved in that 
are now yelling at each other. Remember just a couple of days when Brennan said, oh, Jim Comey wanted the dossier as part of the intelligence assessment. Mr. Comey said, no, no, Brennan did. Then we just found out the other day that uh, Loretta Lynch says, no, I didn't tell Jim Comey to call the Clinton investigation a matter. And Jim Comey says, yes, you did. They're all pointing at each other. And I think this is because of the fact that Bill Barr has announced he's doing this investigation and he's going to find out exactly what happened. I want to circle back to what is happening right now, and that is Democrats are meeting behind closed doors. Nancy Pelosi uh, is facing a lot of pressure, growing pressure from her fellow Democrats um, uh, to, to begin impeachment proceedings. She answered a question yesterday about her party and where things stand. She says, we're not divided. I mean, is that could that be could that be the case? It could have fooled me. Uh, I, I mean, I, it seems to me, as I said before, I think they're going to do it. Never forget, Tom Steyer spent like seventy million dollars electing Democrats for the sole purpose of getting here and voting to impeach the president of the United States. It's not warranted. The American people don't want it. But Tom Steyer and the radical left and the Democrat Party do. So I think that's where they ultimately end up going. And if they do, we'll bring out the facts. And we'll show that this is not warranted, and there's no justification for it, and the president will be fine. But I think they're going to go there. There's a lot going on on Capitol Hill this morning. What's the temperature there? It's nice and warm, like it's supposed to be in Maine, in okay. Washington, D.C. Jim Jordan, it is a huge morning, and we appreciate your time this morning, sir. You bet. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.